hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl cc and we are back at it again today with another video and in today's video we are going to be reacting to why so many koreans are converting or reverting to islam and supposedly loads of them are looking forward to ramadan so yeah it's quite um intriguing that people in korea are reverting to islam you know korea is one of the countries that you would assume like oh like there isn't much there isn't much muslims like i rarely i rarely see any asian those type of asians like chinese korean those type of um pe muslim people like i don't even remember the last time i seen somebody who looked korean or who looked chinese as a muslim it's quite interesting so i am looking forward to today's video a lot like i want to understand why what happened and all that stuff um also guys if you don't know i am now a master degree holder i graduated last week wednesday and yeah here is a little clip that i put together play the clip <laughs> So yeah guys like I hold a master's degree I hold a master's degree honestly all I have to say is thank God and I thank my parents as well like just thanks honestly like I am so grateful for having such an opportunity like but yeah i just wanted to share this exciting news with you guys so we can all celebrate together your girl holds a master's degree now ah, it's quite exciting but anyways before we do get into today's video please make sure you like comment share and make sure you subscribe and yeah let's get straight into today's video shall we I'm, I'm quite surprised to see a, quite a sizable number of Muslims here in Korea. Did you, were you able to find out some of the reasons that they turned to Islam? Right. A lot of them have, of course, different reasons of how they were first introduced to Islam. Uh, many of them I talked to, they first studied it on their own out of curiosity. And after studying it, they um, have peace and joy themselves. 20,000 Americans every year decide to convert to Islam. These converts say they don't regret their decision at all. Growing numbers of young Australian men and women who are converting to Islam. One of the world's largest religions is gaining followers from a very unlikely community. A growing number of Hispanics are changing their religion and following the teachings of Islam. 4000 personnes en moyenne chaque année, généralement des jeunes et de culture ou de foi chrétienne choisissent de devenir musulmans. According to a report by Faith Matters, the UK is seeing a surge in Brits converting to Islam. In the last year, around 5200 people in Britain converted to Islam. As many as 100,000 have converted in the last decade. Warum denn auch immer mehr Deutsche zu Muslims werden? Martin Toroxel berichtet. It's the world's fastest growing religion, Islam. Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world. Islam remains the fastest growing religion. Islam is the world's fastest growing religion. Census suggests many of them are turning to Islam. Islam is the fastest growing religion in all of Canada. Islam is growing faster than ever. In some studies suggesting it could eventually become the dominant faith. Martin's probably Boyko has the story. The number of Muslims living in Japan, though small, has more than doubled in the past decade. How big Islam has become in Russia's capital city. Tens of thousands come to mark Ramadan, so many that some must even pray outside. 5,000 people converted to Islam in the UK. Laut einer Studie sind seit 2004 jedes Jahr rund 4,000 Bundesbürger zum Islam übergetreten. Das sind viermal so viele wie in den Jahren zuvor. The number of converted Muslims in Norway increased to at least 3,000 in recent years. And why shouldn't they be? Islam is the fastest growing religion in the UK. Despite those statistics, Islam is the fastest growing religion in Europe. How priests and preachers enter Islam. Many of the miracles that Jesus had done, I found them in the Quran. There were even a couple of Jesus miracles mentioned in the Quran that were not mentioned in the Bible. What brought me to Islam is me trying to convince someone else to become a Christian. 
In fact, she says it was Jesus himself who led her to Islam. You think Jesus led you to become a Muslim? Yes, yes. Muslims believe in Jesus, we love Jesus so much and we cannot necessarily, we can't even be Muslim really if we don't believe in Jesus because that's one of our stepping stones to our religion. We do have to believe that the Torah and the Gospel were a book that was sent to prophets from God. Here in the United States, while the Muslim contingent numbers an estimated 7 to 8 million, it's growing rapidly. 20,000 new converts each year, four times as many women as men. Growing numbers of white British women are converting to Islam. I don't know if you're aware, but recently there's been a rise of Latinas converting into Islam. So why are they doing it? Crossing over why so many young Australian men and women are now converting to Islam. What, what prompted your decision to convert to Islam? So what's going on? What is compelling so many young white women to convert to Islam? Amina, Muslim Council of Britain, you converted from Christianity to Islam. Why do you believe Islam is right? Um, I can ask any question of Islam um, and it will give me a logical and scientifically proven answer. I read this book and it's called A Brief Illustrated Guide to Understanding Islam and my little brother actually read this book last August and he accepted Islam as well too, alhamdulillah. So I read this book and I read about the scientific miracles of the Quran and this started it all. Like I've read a million other sources as well but this was the book that started it all for me. The concept of God was very bizarre growing up. I didn't understand how three could equal one. And so when I heard about Islam and they told me about all the attributes of God, this was like eye-opening. I was like, wow, I couldn't believe it. Converting to Islam, the 100,000 converts now is up from an estimated 60,000 10 years ago. The majority are women with an average age on conversion of 27. Enfin, Venons-en au dossier de cette édition consacrée à la décision prise par 30 à 70 000 personnes en France de se convertir à l'islam. Ce sont essentiellement des femmes qui font ce choix. Pour quelles raisons C'est ce que Pierre-Nicolas et Jean-Michel Mir ont demandé à deux d'entre elles. Écoutons leur témoignage. According to that same population projection, Muslims are the only major religious group expected to grow faster than the global population as a whole. I would like to tell you that Islam is amazingly coming up with a lot of women who are entering Islam at a time when people are saying that Islam is oppressive to women and also the priests, preachers, ministers like myself who have come to Islam are in great numbers. A former female priest who spent more than two decades in the Episcopal Church is now speaking out after being defrocked because she embraced another faith. Today, Ann Holmes Redding calls herself both a Christian and a Muslim but her move to Islam. Well, our next guest did just that. After being a Catholic priest in Britain, he left to become a teacher and studied in Egypt, where he converted to Islam and became a Muslim. He is now in Ireland to spread the word of the Quran, and he joins us in studio this morning. Good morning to you. Hello, this is Dr. Gerald Dirks, formerly the Reverend Gerald Dirks. In just a few moments, here on The Dean Show, we'll be talking about my conversion to Islam. Please, don't go away. After going to... Um Catholic school for 12 years. My faith needed a little bit more um, depth in it and I was able to find it in Islam. When I had left uh, the local church I just decided to go to God for no reason at all. I just went to God in prayer and asked him that I wanted the truth no matter what it takes. I picked up the Quran and held it to my face and kissed it. And I stated, why hasn't anyone told us about this? Christianity is on the decline in Europe and something else is starting to take its place. Muslims will soon outnumber practicing Christians in Europe. As a Christian, I consider Jesus a prophet but he's a prophet of the one God, there's not several. So, as a Christian, I worship Allah. If you're not Muslim, stop scrolling. Listen, before I became Muslim, I thought that Allah was a different God. 
it's not it's the same god it's the creator of the universe because i'm muslim now that i know this not just because of that but i learned i learned a lot about islam and all of my original beliefs kind of already lined up with all of it in christianity i was like i didn't when people asked me about the trinity i could literally couldn't explain it i was like uh i was like wow you're right i haven't even thought about it like that so it just makes it makes sense islam makes sense islam is so beautifully making sense it's a very inclusive religion more inclusive than uh, judaism or christianity Judaism has its chosen people, the circumcised. Christianity has its chosen people, the baptized. The chosen people in the Quran are all monotheists, any of them. Uh, from Adam on, there's an unceasing stream of prophets, beginning with Adam, coming down through Isaiah, Abraham, Moses, uh, Jesus, John the Baptist, uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus. The name exalted over and over in Islam is Jesus. I was told that Jesus is the Messiah who will come back at the end of time to establish the kingdom of justice and peace. Not Muhammad? Not Muhammad, the Christ, son of Mary. You cannot be a Muslim if you don't believe Jesus is the Messiah. It's in the Quran. I had the idea I should look and that was the first time that I read the Quran while I was at Bible college. SubhanAllah, the first time I read the Quran, I opened it, just opened it. It fell into uh, uh, Surah, the third chapter, Surah Al-Imran. Yeah. And I was reading about Jesus. I said, oh my God, I didn't know Jesus was in this book. Mary. Zachariah, the prophets, all the prophets. And I'm reading their history, you know, the story of their lineage, their ancestry there, and how God has connected the story. Amazing, amazing story. And I was shocked. Sheikh, I did something I, I would never do today, but I threw the Quran away. I threw it on the table. I threw it because it scared me. Because suddenly I realized from that one short reading I had another option and I kept reading. And I kept reading until I got to this verse in the Quran in Surah Al-Ma'idah 83. In this, in this passage God is talking to the Christians Maybe you know this verse. The, those who are the Christians or who call themselves the Christians, when they hear this word of God, this, this message that is sent to the Rasul, to, to Muhammad, when they see that, you see their eyes fill with tears. A sheikh, my eyes had tears in them when I read that verse. Subhanallah. And it says, We will say, Mark me, Mark me as a believer. Mark me as a shahada, a witness to this truth. And I knew I was a Muslim at that day. I knew I was a Muslim because I knew that the Quran was the word of God because nothing could change me if it wasn't actually God changing me. I read the Quran and I, I see that thread of the message of God from Adam to Abraham, Moses, David, Saul, all the way through to Muhammad. You go to the Bible and you find the way we pray in Islam. Abraham, Abraham fell face down on the ground, Moses, and Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped. Jesus, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed. What do you as a, a Christian theologian make of the prophethood of Muhammad? Um, do you have any thoughts about that? I do think uh, that Muhammad was a genuine prophet of God and that he was raised up by God and that the Quran is uh, in some way an expression of uh, God's uh, revelation. So I do uh, think that. The growth rate of population of the different religious communities in the same period was for Hindus 16.8%, Muslims 
Muslims 24.6%, Christians 15.5%, Sikhs 8.4%, Buddhists 6.1%, and Jains 5.4%. There will come a time, as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that Islam will enter into every home, even a home of hair, even a home of mud, even meaning a tent. There will be a person in that home who is Muslim. In the Sunnah of Imam Ahmed, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, this matter will keep spreading as far as the night and the day reach. And Angela isn't alone in converting to Islam. In fact, an estimated 20,000 Americans each year become Muslims. Now, I used to preach Christianity. And when I came into Islam, uh, there were a lot of things I said, oh, I don't know if I can do with that. I don't know if we can do with that. But the brothers were telling me, everything is one step at a time. One step at a time. And he, the first step is simple. You just repeat after me. I swear. There is no God to worship except my one God, Allah. He has no partners. Now the next part, and I swear that Muhammad is his messenger, Jesus is his messenger. Islam is one of the fastest growing religions in America. A new report by the Pew Forum shows Islam is the fastest growing religion. Lindsay Wheeler used to have no interest in religion and called herself the ultimate non-believer. But after reading one book about Islam, she turned her life around. Now she's a Muslim. If anyone wants to read the true, what they call the, the nativity story, you know, the story of Jesus' birth, go read chapter 19 of the Quran. It will make you cry. It will make you cry because it made me cry the first time I read it because it's nothing like the Bible. It is in a more beautiful tone of language, in a more soft-spoken, in a more true manner than you can have ever read in any other book. Start reading today. 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 Okay, guys. So that brings me to the end of the video. I'm a little bit surprised because the title said, Why are so many Koreans reverting to Islam? So that is what I thought the focus was going to be on, but it was more so like the entire world, which is not a problem, but it's a bit disappointing because I feel like they've just clickbaited me and it's like, I was so excited to see why Koreans were reverting to Islam simply because it's very, very hard to find them as Muslims. Hence why I was so excited. But nonetheless, mashallah and alhamdulillah for all those who have reverted to Islam. You know, everyone knows that Islam is the fastest growing religion in the entire world. And if you like it or not, it is going to overpower Christianity at some point. Just keeping it real. The way things are going in this world, the way things are going in this life, that is what it seems like. Eventually, Islam is going to be the first, the number one religion in the world. And one thing that stood out to me was when they said, you know, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, prophesied that a time will come whereby each family will have at least one Muslim. And I highly think that that time is very near. It's already happening and it is going to continue happening. So I do believe that that prophecy will certainly be fulfilled one day. Another thing that stood out to me was when they said, you know, even Jesus put his head on the ground and he prayed. You know, when... When I'm in times of doubts of, you know, am I really sure this is the direction I want to take my life into? I think about verses like that and I'm like, come on. Like, it's so clear to us. It's so clear. It's right in our faces, you know. So that verse really stood out to me because it's like, who who is Jesus as God praying to? You know, like, please, how does that make any sense? How can Jesus be God and still be praying to God? So Jesus is praying to himself, like, no, it just don't make any sense. I am so, so sorry, but it's the truth. It just does not make 
any sense at all but yeah it was a nice video um a great summary of you know why islam is growing and which parts of the world is growing the fastest it's it was very nice to watch and very touching to hear people's story but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one please do not forget to like comment share and please do not forget to subscribe and when you are subscribing make sure you turn on the post notifications so you get notified each time i do post and with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!